Do I really have to love my neighbor and how? Jesus said, you have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Look, it's easy to love people that we like. It's much more difficult when we don't like someone or when they are literally people committing atrocities and evil. The world is fundamentally unjust, but a cycle of violence or hatred cannot be broken by more and more violence and more and more hatred. Jesus knew that, and so he calls his disciples to live in a way where we relate to our enemies as if they are friends and neighbors to help break cycles of hatred and violence. So how the heck do we do that? First, by understanding. Jesus took time to understand the people around him. So we should try to understand why do our enemies think how they do? What angers them? What traumas have they endured? What philosophies have shaped their worldview? Try to understand how they got to where they are. Understanding can then help us be compassionate towards our enemies because we have a perspective on why they act how they do. When Jesus asks us to pray for those who persecute you, he's asking us to have compassion. Prayer is an act of compassion, and compassion looks beyond action to see a fellow human. Once we understand a person's what and why, and once we grant them compassion, it then becomes easier to love. We no longer see an enemy. We can then see one of God's children. Now, don't get me wrong. Love does not mean that we should condone actions of violence, hurt, pain, or evil. It also doesn't mean that we should then be best friends with our enemies or let people walk all over us or allow our, enemy, our enemies to hurt us. We should become angry when we see others inflicting pain, and we should speak up. We can set boundaries. In loving our enemy, Jesus is not asking us to be silent or for passivity. What he's asking is for us to have understanding and compassion and to make sure that we don't depersonalize another human to the point of hatred. We should never hate another human. In all we do, our actions must be rooted in love, and that does mean loving our enemy.